Morning everyone, hope you're going well. Uh, yeah, fingers crossed we can get the header going today. Still not overly warm, but the sun is trying to shine. Uh, wind is still blowing. Uh, just been to town and picked these up. Uh, the guys in at Cobram Farm Equipment have made these up for us. Uh, made a couple of sets up for a neighbour last year and and uh, yeah, just so we can we can get some jewels on the header. Well, I didn't think we were going to get them, so we were just uh, going to start without them. And, and yes, and hopefully we didn't get bogged, but when Tim rang last night to say that he had them done, uh, obviously they haven't been painted. He was, he was concerned they hadn't been painted, but that's the least of our worries at the moment. So, yeah, look, we've just got to try and get these wheel nuts undone on the header. That's going to be one of the biggest issues, I think, this morning. So, it's... I think they've done up to a thousand pound or something something ridiculous so yeah we'll uh yeah a thousand pound so we'll uh try and get them get them undone and the boys have just slipped out the other farm to, to both the front end loaders are out out there um yeah we're doing a job out there which i'll probably show you later but yeah we'll um hopefully while they're bringing that back i can i can get these nuts cracked So just killing a bit of time this morning uh, till we go and strip another sample. So yeah, I thought I'd just put, start and put the top cross auger together for the windrow. Yeah, I walked it home, actually walked it down the road with the front on last night. Got it back here. Uh, yeah, so we'll put the, we tossing up which front to put the cross auger in, but it's made for this 35 foot front, so. We'll put it in there and then we, we'll just, well, we do have a bit of canola direct head, so we'll just swap the adapters over in the fronts and, and run that front on the header. Uh, and yeah, we've still got a couple hundred hectares of, of uh, canola to windrow yet. So hopefully, I'm hoping sort of mid next week, I need to go and have a good look at it and just see where it's up to. But just showing you here, these, these are the bearings. See how it's got that little ball there. These bearings aren't actually for these housings. Um, these bearings go into a cast, a cast housing, and that actually stops the bearing from spinning in the housing. And what's going on here is the housing won't actually, these pressed tin housings won't actually go together properly over the bearing. So it's not a big deal. All I'm gonna do is just grab the grinder and I'll just rub those, Rub those balls off so that the, the tin housings will come together properly and hopefully it'll go together a bit better than what it is at the moment. Two different size bearings, which isn't helping. Right, you can just see and just rub that off. It's nice and smooth now, so those housings will go together properly. Okay, we've jumped forward a bit. Apologies. Uh, yeah, you didn't miss anything yesterday anyway. So, I, uh, we headed out the other farm here and I forgot to bring the GoPro with me, so hence we didn't get anything from yesterday. But 
Uh, yeah, a couple of developments. So we got the jewels on. Um, space is fitted up really well. Uh, just it's enough room in there to stick the rattle gun in there, and that's about it. So just we'll put the rattle gun and the cap with us. We'll keep going, but we've started. So we uh, did a sample yesterday, and it was nine percent, and then. Another one at midday was 8.8 .8, and then I've tried again here at 3 o'clock this Arbo and we're back down to 7.2 so we're, we're full steam ahead so uh, probably can't see Brandon's I can show you, I'll show you when we get down there where the, the setup we've got where the bin and that is um, we're carting it, I don't know what it is down there a couple of, couple of kilometres I suppose um, but what I'm just looking at here I've just set these trays up just to get them a bit of an idea of, of our losses. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll pick them up and we'll go down to the ute there and we'll have a bit of a sort through and see what we've got on the ground. Okay, so what we'll do is just try and get some of the chaff out. So I'll just put five of these across these trays. They're probably uh, I think they're about 450 mil long and about 120 mil wide. So I've just put them across the the roughly the eight and a half meters of the windrow of the machine. It's a bit tricky with the jewels to get them in close without running them over, running them over. But we sort of put we got a bit of a crosswind here, so we we put put a few on the on the downwind side, a couple of extra ones. So. And we've got canola on the ground or on the try of the ute already, but take my sunglasses off camera so I can see. And look, there's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's probably a dozen seeds in that tray. This one's it got run over because there's mud in it. Worst thing is canola is we're only selling it at a you know two and a half kilos to the hectare, uh, and you don't need a lot a lot on the ground to obviously get a crop. So when it's coming out of the back of the header, it's um, it's a bit harder to tell, but. Anyway, I'll have a bit of a scratch around here and I'll uh, see what we come up with. So I've had a bit of a, a shuffle around and got as much chaff out as I can. To be honest, probably pretty happy with that. Um, I've just set the machine up as per the book. Uh, and yeah, the sample sample in the box is good. And look, what's on the ground is, is pretty good, I think. Um, we'll have another go tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, I might even just get one of the other guys to drive it while I can have a bit of a fossic ground and have a bit of a look. But uh, that's a good way to do it. They're just a, from my to ten, just hardware store, and I don't know what they were—a couple of bucks each. They weren't weren't going to break the bank, but yeah, that's that's the contents of the five trays. There are a few apps that you can calculate it to, to actually work out, give you a dollar per hectare um, if you want to. But yeah, look, it's. It's probably, with the price of canola and that sort of stuff, a price of grain full stop, sorry. Um, it is probably becoming more of a thing. Um, just because the header will do, you know, 25 or 30 tonne an hour in canola or whatever, doesn't mean you're not putting a certain amount, a percentage out on the ground. Um, you know, a couple of percent's probably acceptable. Uh, I don't... Canola's a big one, cereals... Uh, doesn't worry me as much we still obviously we still want to control our losses sorry that was a bit close um but with the livestock the sheep put the sheep in and in the stubble over the summers and they'll come out fat like it's um so yeah but you can sort of see get off a headland here there has been a bit under the windrows just with the rain we've got a bit of loss anyway 
but that's new canola, new canola growing. Uh, so anyway, it's um, still bloody good to get going. It's been painstakingly slow. It's you know the 24th of November and we're only striking a blow. So uh, yeah, still trying to work the header out, but it um, seems to roll along pretty well. Anyway, we'll get cracking. Well, we're marching along pretty well. Getting a bit done, which is good. Plenty of dust coming out of the back of the machine, so it's it's uh, yeah drying down, which is good. Uh, yeah, no, it's slowly getting the hang of the header and just uh, trying to nut out where the what the sweet spot is, but we've still got to calibrate the. And look at those ones down there, but yeah, sort of around that 6k seems to be the, the magic number. Um, sort of 75% engine load and losses seem good, so uh, the uh, canola defeated the pick up front, the table all was rattling a bit. Um, if you can hear it, but uh, yeah, we probably what is it about? Uh, it's about 8 o'clock now, so. Another half an hour, I reckon. I've already turned the air conditioner down a couple of times, and that's a that's a sure sign. It's um, the weather's cool, and the, it's cooling down outside. So anyway, it's bloody good to get started. And, uh, yeah, two I don't know, two or three days. We're not going to get big days in. As I said, it'll be late morning before we start. And if we can only go, it'll sort of half past eight in the evening. Uh, it's, yeah, they're only I think the next Saturdays. 27 or 8 degrees, uh, but yeah, you know, it's still only tops of 22 and 25, so um, that would uh, be a lot that still aren't going, so uh, yeah, it's pretty quiet over at the grain receivers, but uh, we'll uh, take a load over in the morning and uh, just see what we what the weight's like, and hopefully the oil's good, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. We finished up out of our state last night. Uh, yeah, Jew came in yeah, pretty well once the sun came, it went down. I'm just gonna have a look in this mother bin. Oh, I can't have a look in it, he's closed the lid. Anyway, it's a bit of, bit of an anticlimax. Um, anyway, just tap the side of it. Well, there's still two sections that aren't empty, aren't got stuff in them. We'll just have a look up in this truck before we roll it up. We'll just uh, need to have a look at the gauges when we get it on some level ground and see what's going on. Oh uh, yeah, it's a bit in there, probably take a bit more. But anyway, it'll give us a bit of an idea of what's going on. Sample's not too bad, it's a bit of chaff in it, but yeah, it should be alright. Before we head off, I just wanted to get a bit of an idea of what the weight gauges are doing. <coughs> I haven't had this trailer to town so um, both the truck and trailer on airbags uh, we've got about show me about 14 14 and a half something like that anyway we'll uh, we'll get to town and see what weight it's got on it I would have thought 
The front one may come up a bit once we get going. Let's have another look when we get to town. Uh, yeah, first load for harvest. queuing to unload the tricky bit uh, just looking here at the tests uh, oil's good test weight's good moisture's good impurities are probably a bit high we need to tidy them up this year we've got his mouldy seed uh, yeah and by the sounds of it by the sounds of it it's well, everyone's got it it's just the damn ball of season so uh, yeah, we'll just um, just keep tracking along. We need to tidy the sample up a bit. We've got a bit too much chaff in it, but that's all right. Given it was only the first, this is only the first load. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's um, it's all starting to happen. Weather's good. Moisture's good. That was the biggest one. It's back down to six percent. So yeah, we'll uh, get this tipped off and get back and and hook into it. Right, eh? So it's all rolling along really well. <coughs> um, I've just uh, give Brendan a rundown on how to drive the header, um, and did a, I did an hour with him. He hasn't hasn't driven a header before, so uh, yeah, it's all a bit new. But look, it's it is pretty simple with this machine, uh, with the return to cut and and the auto steer, and you just drive at that six six and a half kilometres an hour, and and yeah, just keep picking the rows up. So uh, they're just doing a bit here. There's a bit of a just some short runs he's just tidying up um, before dark well, I'm actually going out for dinner <laughs> which is uh, yeah it is over the second day of harvest so this wouldn't be happening if it was the middle of harvest I can tell you but just been having to play around with our trays again and just just keeping an eye on the losses um, so this is four trays we actually just put a tray through the header luckily they're only plastic but it's gone to God so um, so across the four trays that's sort of what we've got so i probably should have a measure up and a way and just to, and just calculate what we've actually got but our losses but look i'm pretty happy happy with that if you doubled that um so if you had if you had eight trays across the machine um it's still it's still not a lot so uh yeah but it's always good that it's pretty valuable this stuff at the moment i think we've got a contract for nine 980 bucks a ton uh, so yeah you want to try and get every bit you can uh, we've taken what are we taking three loads plus that i only had about 16 ton on this morning which is fine but uh, yeah the truck's just coming back now for another load uh canola is doing about 2.7 this paddock ton to the hectare uh yeah which is look you take that every year uh but um no it's it's all going to plan we'll uh we probably won't we won't get finished tomorrow i don't think out here it'll be, be probably sometime sunday uh but yeah no it's 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 good to get going the weather's good the next seven to ten days looks good uh yeah so anyway keep watching uh keep subscribing tell your friends <laughs> um but um no look thanks for watching along it's um i'm hoping it's everyone that's that's the reason I'll keep looking over my shoulder. I can hear, hear the truck coming around the road there. So, um, yeah, look, thanks for watching along. I hope you're getting a kick out of it. Thanks for the, those guys that have reached out with a message and saying how much they've enjoyed it. And, uh, and uh, yeah, any feedback would be really good. So, uh, no, have fun, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>